What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com. So in today's video, I wanted to talk through some of the different kinds of animations that are possible in SketchUp. Make sure you stick around to the end because I'm gonna talk about some things that a lot of people don't know SketchUp can do. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So note that I do have a playlist full of videos actually teaching you how to do this, as well as a bunch of downloadable example files. So you can go to the SketchUpEssentials.com slash animation and download a bunch of those example files and follow along if you wanna learn how to do this. But the first kind of animation is pretty simple. Um, this is the one that most people know how to do, and that's to create a transition animation with scenes. So let's say, for example, that we had this scene right here, where we've got this building that I downloaded from the 3D warehouse, and you just wanted to create a fly around view where the camera moves around in space, right? Well, what we can do is we can add multiple different scenes inside of SketchUp, and then when we do that, and then we animate it, so if I was to right click right here and click on play animation, this is actually going to animate the transition between those different scenes. And remember that all of these are adjustable, so you can make changes to things like how long it pauses and other things like that. Um, so we could set this up so that we don't have any kind of scene delay when we do this. So you can create simple fly through animations really quickly. In SketchUp. Note that all of these can be exported in various ways to video files so that you can actually open them up as like an mp4 or an mov or something like that um, inside of your 3D programs. All right so next up we've got SketchUp's ability to animate section planes. So remember that basically what SketchUp can do is it can actually take a section plane. So let's say I was to add one like this. I was to make another copy like this. Well what SketchUp can do is SketchUp can actually animate between active cuts. So let's say that I had a scene right here where I had an active cut and then a scene right here where I had an active cut. And we're gonna move this out just a little bit like this. We're gonna update this and we're also going to turn off our section planes. So if I have a scene where a section plane is off and then another scene, or if I have a scene where a section plane is active and then I have another scene where the other section plane is active, SketchUp is actually going to transition or animate the transition between those different section planes inside of your scene. And so what this does is this allows you to create those animations where things actually move into place and you can animate between different phases and other things like that. I will link to a video in the notes down below that actually shows you how to do that. But what the ability to animate between section planes does is it gives you the ability to create things like construction animations. So for example, this is a scene that I've created um, and this is the tutorial that I'll link to, but this is a scene I've created where basically I have a whole building that just comes together with its different phases moving in place. So you can use this in order to create phase construction animations and other things like that, that really kind of illustrate like a building and construction process. And so this is a really powerful way to illustrate things being built or constructed inside of SketchUp. All right, so another thing SketchUp has the ability to animate is your daytime settings. So you can actually use this in order to set a time of day. And so what you can do is you can use this to simulate different times of day in your model, right? Remember how you can move your sun to different portions of your scene, that kind of thing? Well, this is basically a sun setting in SketchUp that you can animate. So let's say I have a scene right here where my sun is set to 1137 AM. Well, what I wanna do is I wanna create a new scene. So I'm gonna add a scene right here and we can adjust the time of day to something like this. So let's say 7.30 PM, something like that. You could even set it where it animates to a different time of year if you really wanted to do that. Um, but what we wanna do is now for the second scene, we wanna update this so this scene has this time setting right here. Well, what that's done is that's given us the ability to actually animate the sun moving in your 3D space. So you can actually generate an animation showing realistically what this sunlight and shadows might look like at different times of day inside of SketchUp. Note that you can, by the way, combine these. So let's say I wanted my camera to move as well. So something like this. Notice how this is both going to animate your camera location. It's also going to animate your sun movement as well. So you can use this in order to animate between multiple different things at once using the native tools in SketchUp. And so one area where the native installation of SketchUp is a little uh, limited is the ability to actually animate moving objects. So now I will note that it is possible with dynamic components to actually set up doors and windows that you can click on 
and they'll actually animate opening and closing like this. So you can set up doors that do this, you can set up windows that do this, other things like that. So it is really kind of an interesting functionality for being able to actually move things around inside your models. The limiting factor to that, unfortunately, is you can't really um, set those up as scenes and export the animation. So it's only going to animate if you actually click on these things, which, um, you know, while helpful, you could take like a screen recording or something like that, I guess. It's not really ideal for actually creating those moving animations. Luckily, there's an extension that actually allows you to animate the movement of objects inside of SketchUp. So I do a lot of animation with Animator. Animator is a tool that's currently free, though I can't promise that it's gonna stay free in the future, but it's currently free and it adds a tool set for creating a lot of different kinds of animations. So once you decide that you want to create more advanced animations, so things with like objects that move and other things like that, you're really gonna to wanna to transition to an extension like Animator. But when you do, it adds a ton of functionality to SketchUp. All right, and so what Animator does is it adds this tool set over here. So you've got this timeline and it allows you to actually animate different kinds of things in your model. So for example, one of the more popular ones is an opening door. So what you can do with this, and I will link to a more detailed tutorial on how you can do this and how you can export the animation. But if we click on the button for unit movement, what this does is this actually allows us to add a movement to an object in SketchUp. So for example, if I select this door body, right here, what this is gonna do is this is going to allow me to actually create an animation. So I can set this point right here, and I can actually create an animation of a door opening. So when I do this, and I save it, notice how it adds this onto your timeline right here? Well, when it adds this onto your timeline, what it's going to do is it's going to create an animation over time with that movement that you created. So now what this has done is this has given us the ability to animate doors opening and closing in SketchUp. So another cool thing you can do with Animator is you can combine multiple different kinds of animations. So let's say for example that we've got this car model in here and we want it to move in our space, right? Well, the problem with this is the wheels aren't turning. And so because the wheels aren't turning, what this means is this means this doesn't look very realistic. But what you can do is in addition to adding that translation movement in here, you can actually take the car and you can take the wheels. So I'm gonna add a rotation to these wheels right here. So you can select an object to apply an animation to, and you can set this so it's gonna rotate about the center of your wheel. And this one's been modeled kind of odd. Um, that'll happen with 3D warehouse objects. But what you can do is you can set this so that it actually rotates in your scene. So I can give this a 360 degree rotation so that when I click on this, when I click on play, notice how that tire is actually going to rotate. And I'm just gonna set this to repeat a few times or actually infinitely. But now if I click on this, notice how that tire is actually going to rotate as my car moves. So you can use this to create moving cars and other things like that. Um, the forklift animation that we did was really cool. So you can use this in order to create um, things with different stages of animations as well. So a forward movement and then an upward movement, other things like that, really quickly using Animator. And so once you get further into this, you can start animating nested objects. So for example, um, I've got the arms of this robot all kind of nested into their own group. And so what you can do is you can add different movements to different levels of your object. So if I had a group like this one, for example, I could set it up where it could rotate in my scene like this. Well, because all of those are nested together, you can set it up where each one of those animates individually, right? So if I click on play, right, you can see how this can move around. This can start rotating upward, downward, other things like that. So you can use the grouping of your objects in order to create these more complex animations. So in addition, this also gives you the ability, if you click in here and add a movement, notice how there's an option here for explosion. And so what you can do is you can come in here and you can select the group that this is in and you can set this up where it's actually going to create an exploded view by moving everything outward from the central point of your object. So if I click in here, 
right, like this, I can actually set up or create an animation that starts at zero. If I click on play, this is actually going to animate all the parts and pieces of the object moving outward from that central point. So you can use this to create exploded view and mechanical animations using SketchUp as well. All right, so I will link to that playlist with the tutorial videos on how to create a lot of these different kinds of animations, as well as the example files so you can download them and follow them along in the notes down below. But leave a comment below. Let me know if you like any of these kinds of animation. I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.